Um, it's about to get high tech. It's gonna be so fucking great. It's something you'll have. I don't think anyone's ever done this in this way on Twitch before, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna add Meditai to the team. <laughs> um, just because I'm, I think it's realistic that we'll, we'll be using Meditai for Whitney. I'll also be installing the experience share on top of its head. Good luck on your Nuzlocke. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> Guys, we have some high quality memes coming. I was doing some practice for something that's coming up very soon. Um, uh, behind the scenes before I started the stream. It was very frustrating, but we'll get there. I believe in this run. Dude, if we can pull this one out. Honestly, Spiritum has the ability to carry us until Chuck. Um, basically, here's how I like categorize this run. Um, or, or this challenge. Anything up to Morty is early game. And doesn't really matter except for a couple of encounters. Um, Twenty-five deaths on the diamond. I was like, that sounds pretty good, man. Congrats. Congrats on beating it. Um, so everything up until Morty is early game in my opinion. Um, and then everything up until um, about price or Jasmine. About price, I would consider mid game, and that's where the end game starts, and that's where we usually like don't get very far. Um, and early game is very easy. I'd say the hardest part of the early game by now would be Morty. But I think we, we still need to find out a solid Morty strategy. Because I feel like I have a solid Bugsy strategy by now. Which I previously considered to be the hardest part of the game. Go on Ores. I challenge you to a battle. Well, I don't even have an Ores team, so... No. Um... Let's go, Tremeleon. Smokescreen or Metal Claw? I think Metal Claw is a little bit more useful. There's a plumber coming. Rip. Rip. Gotta be awake for that. Oh god, guys. <laughs> that sneeze was so painful. <laughs> but I am feeling a lot better today. <sighs> Hey, what's up, Speed? How you doing, man? I wonder if this thing will die or not. Wait, what thing? What will die? Also, let me add Meditite to the overlay. Whew. Man, manually adding Pokemon to the overlay sure is pre sure is quite quite disruptive to the stream, don't you guys think? Man, if only there was a way. We wouldn't have to do this every time. Who knows, man? Maybe one day someone quite brilliant will get there. Not like you, PC. Hey, I'm okay. The Charmeleon? Listen, I have one- I had one goal for this run and there was no deaths throughout the early game, so no deaths until Morty. But my new goal is to get a Charizard this time. <laughs> my new goal is to get a Charizard this time. Sound less like Death Day? I feel less like Death Day, dude. Dude, this fuck- this movement is so bad. Look at this bullshit. Replacing two toilets? Jesus Christ. Like that will happen? Oh man, you guys- you guys don't believe. You guys just don't believe, do you? Uh, should we teach Headbutt to Meditite? I mean, is there really a reason to?
Not, 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 not likely. No. I never, none of you cucks ever believe in the Charizard. One day it's gonna happen. Just like statistically, it has to happen at some point. It's a numbers game basically, right? We'll get there, man. Because you kill it every single time? Yeah, so we learn from our mistakes, so it won't happen anymore. We're getting Charizard this time, boys. Death Plague migrate to Australia. I think like just everyone in the world is sick right now. So many streamers are sick right now. Also, one thing that we do every time here is pick up the Tauntium. Because why not? Oh, also, we probably are not getting Raikou this time because we got we pretty much have no other place where we can get a Zubat right now. Uh, there are a couple of places coming. Actually, there's a couple places coming up. Yeah, never mind. So I might be skipping the encounter on the next route. Uh, we're gonna pick up our Spiritomb encounter in Azalea Town. Spiritomb is probably the best Pokemon in the entire early game. Um, so definitely picking that up. And then on this route north of here, we're probably not picking up a Pokemon to save this route for the potential Raikou encounter. I think. I'm not sure yet. Actually, I might just pick up my encounter there because I currently have pretty trash encounters and going for something there might be, might be good. Oh yeah, also we're calling Spiritomb the ring. Just use two repels. Wow, are we real? Okay. Guys, Spiritomb is completely insane. Like, completely, absolutely insane. Uh, no weaknesses, sleep induction, recovery with um, Dream Eater. Uh, access to priority moves. It's just absolutely insane. Named Ringu instead? I think the ring is an appropriate name. Who are we gonna lead with? Probably Charmeleon and just Dragon Rage. Actually, I'm gonna lead with um, the Sparkster here, aka Luxio. I wonder if he'll die to Swagger again. Let's hope not. Let's hope that we can keep Spiritomb alive until the mid-game this time. Because I feel like Spiritomb is such a good- is so good for the mid-game as well, and the end-game. It's probably ever since we banned Shedinja the best Pokémon in the game. Probably. I can't really think of any- maybe Raikou, I guess. I don't know. Suikun. Ringu is the OG Japanese version. Well, I'm not a film nerd like you. Can Raikou appear in National Park? I don't even know that. But maybe. But National Park actually has a lot of decent encounters, so I'd probably get that. Yeah, we actually got, got a Slowpoke encounter this time. Um, it'll be interesting. For late game, it'll be interesting post Chuck because that's when we can evolve it. Mm, that's when Slowpoke will be really interesting. Let's try to not kill Spiritomb here, that'd be great. Shouldn't be crit range, right? It's absolutely not crit range. Yeah, the uh, Slowpoke's IVs are even like insane. It's not even that good, but... There we go, we even got the Paralysis, that's awesome. Tyrone, what's up man? I'm sorry, I forgot. No, it's you. Also, hi, what's up Son of Cthulhu? Let's throw a Great Ball. Because a great Pokemon deserves a Great Ball, right? Pretty sure we all agree with that. Fucking got him. Alright, give me good IVs, man. Give me good IVs on this, baby. Good IVs, good nature, come on. This is so important. This is so important. Female. Ooh, that's even better for the ring, right? The ring. Alright, give me that shit. 11 HP. 15 attack, 29 defense, 19 special attack, 13 special defense, and 25 speed. That's kind of bad. I mean, that's okay. 29 defense is pretty good. 
not gonna lie. Actually, th this is average to good. This is probably good, I would say. Serious nature. Okay, that's neutral. That's fine. Um, I never saw The Ring as a kid. There was one horror movie that I saw as a kid that really fucked with me. That was the first horror movie I remember seeing. And that was uh, Ghost Ship, I think it was called. That one kind of fucked with me because it was the first one. I think I remember seeing it on HBO when I was like eight. So that one really fucked with me. It's decent. Yeah, it's it's decent. It's average to good. I mean, the only IVs below 15 are HP and Special Defense. Right? That's pretty okay. 25 speed sadly doesn't really matter, but 29 defense is good. Ghost Ship where they all die. I don't even remember the fucking end, dude. I just remember that that movie scared the shit out of me. I think this is the double team, though, because we're doing a double battle next. This is the double battle meme lead. Also, I wanted to look something up. Um, Pokemon locations. So for the upcoming route, I kind of want to see if... Uh, day or night time is better for an encounter. Oh, all time, so it doesn't even matter. Okay. Drowsy, Gulpin, Electric, Bonsley, Mime Jr., Abra, Ditto, Snubble, Kadabra. <laughs> um. <sighs> I mean, it's. It's pretty unlikely that we're ever even getting a, a Raikou this time around. I think I'll just go for it. One thing I could do... One thing I could do is like... I could fish. Fishing is 60% Chinchu. Some movies that I thought would be really scary and anymore now that I'm older. Yeah, I kind of I want to see Ghost Ship again just to see what it was actually like. That scene was even weirder. The girl was actually a feminine boy tossed down in disgust by a guy who didn't realize until then. Wait, really? I didn't know that. Jesus. Um... Cause like, so old rod here is 60% Goldeen, 30% Chinchu, 10% Staryu. Um, Chinchu would be like interesting, I guess. But I mean, Goldeen is pretty bad, right? Unless I missed something about Goldeen in this game. We don't really want water types though. Yeah. Seeking. Sea King has better attack and speed in this game, actually, and gets Aqua Tail 33. Sea King isn't terrible, but still pretty terrible. Let's not get it. Alright, enjoy the lurk, man. Uh, let's just go for a gra- I mean, like, getting a- like, a Hypno or, or, a, or a Drowsy is, like, okay, and then getting an Abra is also kind of okay. Am I still repelled? Nope. <sighs> so I will say that 15 repels here seems to be the perfect amount until we get the golden rod. Yeah, let's get our encounter here. Fuck Raikou. Um, let's just do this as a double battle, right? I think this is a really good double battle setup. Yeah, what the fuck? Galaxy Man, isn't it like 6 a.m. for you? Come on. Step it up. How are you guys feeling like today? Is anyone else sick? I feel like half, like half the world population is sick today. Oh, Snubble has Intimidate, right? 
Because my plan here is to go for like the magnitude and Gyarados dodges it. Uh, I don't think Electric can kill Gyarados. To be honest. If I just bite in magnitude here. Should be fine. Ooh, are you serious? I'm sick, gotcha man. We, we have Intimidate on it, this shouldn't kill. I'm not afraid of this. Yeah, look at that. It's just so bulky, man. Had some ice cream. Ooh, what flavor, man. Smell death ahead. Nothing's gonna happen, man. We're fine. A lot of people are sick of my school, but they all still showed up because there was a calculus test. Oh, rip, dude. Um, are we afraid of a rock type move from Kranidos here? Probably. Probably kind of, right? Probably not gonna be. Uh, I think I'll switch here. And just go for the rock smash on Snubble. Or on Kranidos. Yeah, let's go for the rock smash on Kranidos. Ooh, he goes for the pursuit though. Uh oh. I'm probably gonna stay in, huh? That's fine. Wow, that's what we're doing. Okay, Snubble. You really just don't want to die, do you? Well, too bad, buddy. <coughs> Excuse me. Dude, I didn't get sick. I haven't gotten sick since, like... Can't even talk about that shit without getting coughed, dude. I haven't even gotten sick since like 2013, man. 2013, dude. <laughs> Didn't get sick for four years. I was so proud of myself, and now I actually got sick again. What's up, Pewie? How are you, dude? <laughs> I'm not really worried about Misty or about Whitney right now. I'm pretty sure Spiritomb and like <clears throat> Geodude and Meta and Metatite should be able to do. When does Metatite evolve? Um, I think it's like around its 30s, right? Late 30s. Thirty-seven, yeah, it's post Chuck. Yeah, don't, aren't you like always sick, Galaxy Man? Come on. <laughs> I'm actually going to turn off battle animations for the next couple of segments because there's just a bunch of battles and like captures and shit going on. Another thing that Spiritomb is really good for is catching the wild Pokemon that you get up until Morty and shit. It's really good. Actually just always catching Pokemon because of hypnosis. Neighbor's kid just hit my house with her baseball. Classic neighbor. Um. Do I just fight the trainers now? Because I know I'll be using Spiritomb. Uh, what's level cap? Is it 25? 24, right? It's 24. Um, well, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Let's not do the trainers just yet. What's up, Naruto Goku Goku? I remember you from last stream. Electrike, okay. First time we've gotten an Electrike. I fucking hate Electrike. Electrike is such a terrible fucking Pokemon, dude. And Electrike and Manekrik have not gotten any changes in their in this game, so yeah. It's pretty terrible. Bolt is the name? Yeah, it absolutely should be. Definitely. It's a good idea. Mm. 
Should I go for a weakening? No, I think I can just throw balls, right? I'll just buy great balls. I'll just do a big shopping run in, in Goldenrod. It's a pretty... Yeah, Electric is a great shiny. I agree. Did anyone see if this thing had Intimidate? Do these even get Intimidate? I think I'll go for a Shadow Snake here. At least it looks cool. It's just terrible to use. What's up, Ashy? This is crit range. I'm not going to go for the for the second Shadow Snake here. Just throw balls at it. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, we're getting we're trying something out this time. We're gonna try to get, we're gonna try out not getting Aerodactyl or Chimchar for the first time in Goldenrod City. Ooh, this Electric actually has Thunder Wave. That's actually pretty niche, but also pretty good. Um, we're actually gonna be trying out Turtwig in Goldenrod this time. Can you get in the fucking Pokeball? Are you serious right now? Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Dude, this thing just does not want to get in the Pokeball, man. Also, you need to go back to sleep, buddy. By the way, it can't hurt me because it only has normal type damaging moves. Electric confirm new map Nebby? Basically, yeah. Saving me a lot of times when doing my. Yeah, I mean, paralysis is pretty good. It's like actually kind of okay. Yeah, Thunder Wave alone makes it a good Pokemon. <laughs> so we said bolt, right? That's a pretty good one. It's also male, which fits. Oh yeah, it's not on my team yet. Uh, so let's skip the next couple of trainers. Um... Easy peasy. To be honest, because I know that Spiritomb can do so much in Whitney's Gym, I'm already thinking about my Morty team right now. Um, so I'm thinking like, um, I'm thinking this guy. Um, mm, kind of thinking this guy, maybe. I'm definitely thinking these two guys, so. These are gonna be like, leveled up regardless, but I still don't want to fight these guys right now. This fucking cutscene is so fucking unnecessary, dude. Holy shit. Gotta practice that double button meshing, man. Spiritomb Sprite, thank you. Oh man, manual overlay editing. Resident Sleeper. <laughs> Cutscenes in Pokemon games, I know, right? Is the sloth because everything is so slow? The sloth represents our moods, and it's sitting on top of the microphone stand right now instead of hanging below it. And that represents that we're in a good mood today. This right here is quality lore. I know, right? So fucking, so fucking important for my immersion, man. <laughs> mashing master when it comes to Pokemon. Teach me your techniques, man. You need to know them. I don't know if we've agreed on the name yet, guys, to be honest. I don't know. Wait, I'm pretty sure that guy is skippable. If I just weren't so bad at the game. It's okay. We'll fight him. We'll get that attack EV that he gives me. actually get a cough drop, hold on. Because those totally help, guys. It's lambing? I don't know about that, man. 
Guys, this is the new style. This is what everyone's gonna start wearing. Sweatpants and button-up shirt. <sighs> Fuck. Oh my god. Listen, I'm taking advantage of the fact that you guys never have to see my legs, so I might as well wear comfortable pants, right? Why the fuck did this not die? Holy shit. A lot of people were requesting Slothy McSloth face. What's the sloth's name? I don't think we've agreed on that yet. Actually, I'm pretty sure that when I got him, I named him William. I thought that was a pretty good name. <laughs> Sleuth. We saw your legs once. You've seen my legs multiple times. I just wasn't expecting you to see them today. William is shit. Oh, dude. You're gonna hurt his feelings. <sighs> Do a punishment so the next attempt you have to text speed on slow and no speed up button or running, up, no running, no bike. That just seems like. That just seems awful, man. That just seems absolutely awful. Why would I do that to myself? Or to you guys? I mean, to be fair, the Pokemon themed freestyle is probably gonna be more of a punishment to you guys. Let's get some more encounters, but first, ooh, before we do anything, actually, no, I'll do that last. But, what I do wanna do, um, is do some is do some shopping. The SJ Johnson, welcome to the stream, man. How you doing today? Wait, what will be on the internet forever? So you're using Piplup? I'm using Turtwig. Rare leg footage. Oh shit. Fuck. I thought I could hide the fact that I'm actually a pu that I'm actually not a puppet, but. And cringe at your Pokemon freestyle. It's gonna be okay. Listen, that shit's gonna be fire, okay? Why am I picking Turtwig? Because I want to try picking more reason, uh, more bulky Pokemon. New mixtape. Ooh, that's that's coming straight after, man. It's coming straight after. All right. Anyway, um, the only fire is my mixtape. Ooh, I don't need any of this shit. Who needs healing items in 2K17? Too many shitty zombie movies don't turn it into one on stream. Oh, did anyone read The Stand by Stephen King? That, that book has made me very afraid of colds. Empoleon is bulky. Empoleon is also a water type, and we get 5 million water types in this game. There is no reason to pick up another one. I'll get 20 great balls. Oops, that was like all my money. Never mind. Uh, let me sell some shit. I don't think I have that much shit, but I'll try to sell some shit. Um, I don't need this. I don't need all of this. <laughs> I don't need any of these. I'll keep normal potions, but actually, paralyzed heals are kind of useful. Well, oh, fuck awakenings. Steel and water is a dank defensive typing, though. Well, yeah, but again, <laughs> having too many water types is just kind of shit. You need revives, yeah, I know. 
Um, I need super potions. Or ethers. I don't think I've ever used an ether in this run. Keep all of these. Uh, I'll keep all of these, but not all of these. I don't think I need flash ever. I don't think says Chikorita is trash. Well, Chikorita doesn't even fucking get leech seed, and that's leech is literally the only thing that can make a bulky grass type good. <laughs> Chikorita is 100% trash. Um, I'll sell rock to him, I think. I don't think that's ever useful. But we'll see. And then all the X items. Um, super repels. Give me that shit. Do I need anything else? I don't think so. I picked Chikorita attempt one, I'm pretty sure. Wanna do a ditto solo run? What game? Hmm. Maybe try red. I heard that game's pretty good. Um, let's get radio card and we'll add it. It's impossible to use a TM on Magikarp, true? Yes. No, it's not Marie. I don't know who it is, but it's not Marie. Jesus Christ, Marie. <laughs> it's minerals. Why does everyone hate on the Marie character in Breaking Bad? I thought Marie was a fantastic character in Breaking Bad, but maybe that's just me. I, although I thought pretty much all characters in, in Breaking Bad were pretty fantastic. Beginningham is less bulky than Feraligator and practicing with yeah, 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 I agree. And just because it gets double screens, I feel like that's a valid reason. Otherwise, it's move pool is pretty trash. Working on things, dude. Don't, don't sweat it, man. Take your time. Wait, what's up, Arison? How we doing? My team's down there. See, they're all, they're all there. Pretty lined up. Although that team command might be reality pretty soon, with what we're planning. <sighs> All right. <sighs> uh, another double battle coming up before before the next encounter here. Um, I think I want to do this this thing again. This was really good. So we got the double intimidate and the magnitude that doesn't hit my Pokemon. What is the purple and green polka does? That is Spiritomb, the best, po probably the best Pokemon in the game ever since we banned Spirit, uh, ever since we banished it in gym. Um, we can get it every time too because it's a static encounter. Is that really Gen two? Well, no, but this is Storm Silver. You can get even up to Gen four Pokemon in this game. Oh wow, those aren't even fucking hit by it. Alright, listen, this is a ROM hack, okay? Storm Silver 
hacked version of Soul Silver. You can get all the Pokemon. Like in the first route, you get Sentrids, Zigzagoons, Rattatas, Bidoofs, right? All that good shit. Starlies, Pidgeys. Um, and the game's a lot harder, which is why we're struggling on this challenge so much. Let's get rid of the Skip Plume and then the Hoot Hoot, I think, and then we can just Magnitude. I thought this was like leaf green. I mean, it's a modified version of what is something like leaf green. <laughs> you know? See, there's a Combuskin, for example. Um, which... Am I afraid of double kick? No, I'm not afraid of double kick here. Let's just get rid of the Hoot Hoot and then we can Magnitude. Yeah, yeah, Soul Silver is a thing. Okay, I'm kind of afraid of that double kick, actually. Um. Oh shit! Don't die, Geo, dude. Actually, I don't give a fuck about Geo, dude. But let's not have it die. Enter four. Yeah, how you doing, my friend? Yeah, that was Noctowl anyway. I should've just uh, magnituded with Geodude. Now I gotta switch him out. Um, I'm not really afraid of anything with Gyarados. I'll just stay in... Because, like, you can't hurt Combuskin is the thing. Do I double switch here? To who? Eh. I'll just stay in, bite the Noctowl, um, and get something in there that can aptly deal with Combuskin, which would probably be Spiritomb, to be honest. Magnituded? <laughs> Used magnitude with Geodude. Wait, whose birthday is it? Maze! Congrats. Happy birthday, man. Um Let's just kill the Noctel. Combuskin can't really do anything to my current setup. Is that not how you say it? Magnituded? I'm pretty sure that's that's a word, right? They doubled on my Geodude. I know, right? What the fuck, man? Now they put my Gyarados to sleep? Like, come on. This fucking Noctowl, man. Pretty sure this Noctowl has killed a Pokemon of mine before. I don't remember which one it was. Double kick on the Gyarados, I don't give a fuck. Dude, this Gyarados IVs are fucking crazy, man. It has zero speed, which really sucks. But... It other than that, it's like 26, 30, 31, one special attack, which doesn't matter, and 21. Holy shit. Oh, they had a reflect up. No wonder I wasn't dealing any fucking damage. I think I have to tackle here, to be honest. Shadow Sneak. Honestly, I think Shadow Sneak could be at like a 2 at KO. Ah, okay, never mind. With tackle, though. Look at that tackle damage, man. Holy shit. Dude, this Gyarados' attack is like through the roof. It's like plus attack nature, and it's got a 30 attack IV. Completely crazy. I think this Gyarados is gonna go far, man. There's a wiki on this game as well, yeah. Refer to the wiki, boys. Don't trust Sidetracks. Astrology is kind of- yeah, astrology is- Kinda dumb. Astronomy is cool, but astrology not so much. Mother, stop calling me, please. Um Let's fight this guy and then try to dodge some spinners, huh? Can we actually do that? We made Magikarp useful? Yeah, kinda. I think the Gyarados will die to grinding. That's such a pessimistic outlook, man. Come on. I remember I think this guy this upcoming guy actually uses Pikachu's. Uh, let's go heal real quick, and is PC doing GPPD? I don't even know what the fuck that is, but sure. Oh, 
I'll leave with uh, Geodude against the guy. I'm pretty sure he has a Pikachu or something. Mostly gonna be a lurker because I'll be working on the bloody platinum while listening to and watching the stream on the second screen. But first, I'm grabbing that leftover pizza. Dude, leftover pizza is pretty underrated. I think cold pizza is pretty great. Oh, GPPD is just a way to misspell good. Wow, I just made fun of you misspelling that. I'm so sorry, man. That's actually okay. Good thing this thing doesn't have fucking arena trap. I don't really have a way to counter that. I guess I could go into Gyarados, huh? Let's do it. I really need that Ice Fang on Gyarados, man. I don't know when that happens, but... Play Pokemon Clover on stream? <laughs> Maybe one day. For re oh, if you like reheated pizza, you know what the perfect way to reheat your pizza is? Get like your skillet, preferably like cast iron. I like a little bit of olive oil in there. Put the pizza in there. Make the crust like crispy in there. And then when it's like finishing up, you can put like just a teensy bit of water in there. Just like a like a few drops. And then put like the lid on top, and then the steam from that will melt your cheese. And your pizza slice will be perfectly reheated. That's how the pros. That's how the pros reheat their pizza. Cause I feel like in the oven it just goes dry. Nice crit. I sexually identify as a Pikachu. Well, I'm glad you got you've come to accept your sex sexuality. Man, I'm I'm happy for you, dude. I also need to teach Rock Smash to Gyarados. Actually. Slowpoke and Pineco for the leg. I don't even know if I'll ever use Pineco. I don't think Ferretris is that amazing. Uh, I'm in crit range here and I missed two bites, so... Let's go into... Ah, uh, Geodude seems fine. Can make an aluminum foil pocket to keep it from drying up so much, but I'll have to try the cast iron method. I love my cast iron skillet. I'm moving out soon, I'm definitely getting a cast iron skillet. That shit's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Those things hold forever, man. So I heard, at least, which is why I want to... You missed one bite? I'm pretty sure I missed two bites. Oh, I flinched. Alright. Dude, cast iron pans! I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one. I fucking love them. What's up, Fightnoid? Welcome to the stream, man. Only gonna leave when they're a cooking stream. I'm never gonna learn Mind Reader, man. Pretty sure there's a secret society that worships cast iron pans. I wouldn't... I mean... Can you really fault them for that? Oh, is Nightbot still on cooldown from the last Storm Silver command? You're gonna have to try that one again, buddy. I'm sorry. Uh, Rock Smash, here we go. You forget, I helped program this game. I just don't remember some things. Sidetrax, like, I don't even fucking know why you're memeing about this so hard, man. Nobody fucking believes you. <laughs> that you actually helped program this game, man. I don't know why you would yeah, why you would drive that meme to the ground so much. I, I thought it was funny the first couple of times, but like I don't know man. There you go, fight noin. I could just probably explain it to you, huh? Yeah, Storm Silver. Uh, hacked version of Soul Silver. Harder, more Pokemon available, bad Pokemon are changed to be better. It's pretty great.
Destiny Wolves, thanks for the follow, man. Congrats on the Rattatum. If anyone helped program the games, it's me. Yeah, probably. Well, let's go heal in case we do run into the spinner. I'm the head programmer of Nintendo. I thought that was my uncle, but I don't know. Maybe we're related real time. We just don't know. My dad has diabetes. God, guys, why do you always turn dark so fast? Jesus. God damn, dude. You know what? Diabetes is nothing to be ashamed of. My dad created the universe. Daddy moves. Jesus confirmed. Oh, shit. No wonder he was able to be here so fast to stalk me. Cause he can run over fucking water, dude. What's up, Gudea? Ah, fuck. I'm so fucking bad at dodging these spinners, man. I didn't catch no shitty Rattata. Well, you win some, you lose some. What can I do, man? I have Geodude out, right? Yeah. Rattata is amazing. Dude, Rattata is incredible. I don't know if that's Stockholm Syndrome speaking, but it's pretty good. My dad is Wilford Brimley? I don't even remember who the fuck that is. Coming right now to turn water into wine. Nice. 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 Dodge any percent? <laughs> Maybe. Pretty sure this guy is a Magmar, right? Guys, remember the last Magmar we encountered? That didn't go very well, did it? No burn? Okay. I actually robbed a bank in Stockholm that coined the term Stockholm Syndrome. Also, did I mention I made this game? Yeah. I just want to be cool. Listen, Sidetrax. You don't have to. You don't have to tell people stuff that's not true to be cool. You're a cool guy without having programmed this game. Okay. You don't have to. You don't have to be so insecure, man. We still love you, even if you didn't program this game. Don't worry about it like that. Okay. Also, where is? Hold on. <laughs> Should be a list of Pokemon with counter. A list of Pokemon self destructive put in somewhere that we memorize it all. I mean it's um Honestly, you'll just get a hang of it. You know which Pokemon explode uh, most of the time. It's not that many, and like, I've never been fucked by counter before, I think, in this in this run at least. Alright guys, the big question. The big fucking question. Can we, finally, get a Needle Ran encounter? Can we finally get a Needle Ran encounter on this fucking route? Because we've never fucking gotten a Nidoran encounter here, and it's really starting to frustrate me. It's really starting to frustrate me. Ave got counter by counter, got fucked by counter, rip. Um... Tremulene is fine, yeah. You know the Nuzlocke show? Do you Pokemon Red or Pokemon Sun and Moon? Ooh, you picked like the two extremes, man. Um... Uh, Sun and Moon Nuzlocke's are pretty fun. Go for it, man. She want mail? I don't even care at this point, I just want a Nidoran, man. I mean, honestly, I don't think it makes that much of a difference, but just give me one, dude. Needle King over Needle King, tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. I like Needle King better. Hillian Shanks, what's up, man? Hey, I've seen him before in my chat. <laughs> I think I'm particularly afraid of any attack from Mighty Anna here. So I'm gonna stay in. I think I can take a, a Thunder Fang. But it's faster than me, which is pretty annoying. I can take another one here, but I'm in crit range, and 
I said I'd get a Charizard this time around, so let's switch out. Um, <sighs> yeah, this is fine. Also, yeah, Intimidate. Don't know why he'd Ice Fang there, but... The AI- oops, I meant to totally spark there. Dude, this Mighty Yen is fast as fuck, man. But Luxio is actually really slow, so I don't know. Dude, when does Luxio evolve? Here comes the tough question. Should I do Nuzlocke on Sun or Moon? I'd say I always go for Moon. Wait, really? Level 30? That's like post Morty. Holy shit, that's so good. I mean, it doesn't matter, but... The only thing that would be good would be pre-Morty. Moon is better. Hillian Shinks, thank you for the follow. Congrats on the Rattata. Dishing out those Rattatas like they're nothing today, man. Roar? That's fucking terrible. I'd rather have Charge than Roar, man. What's your Pokeball at PNG called? I'm pretty sure it's called 000.png. But I can rename it to anything. Alright, guys. Moment of truth. Can we finally get the fucking Nidoran? Of course not. Of course we get Illuise for the third time in a row on this fucking route. Literally the most useful fucking garbage piece of shit. At least it's a thief slave, right? God damn it, dude. <sighs> I hope you fucking crit him and it fucking dies. Nice, it even critted. <laughs> but it didn't die. I mean, are you fucking serious? Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Nino Rens are like 20% or something. Twenty percent Nidoran M, twenty percent Nidoran F. I literally have a forty percent chance to encounter a Nidoran on this route, and I've never gotten a single one. What are we calling this thing? It's literally a combined forty percent to get a Nidoran here, at day and night. It's like fucking unbelievable. I'm pretty sure Illumise is like ridiculously rare too. Illumise is 5%! And we've gotten three! Bugs Life? Can we just name it Food Fight because it's shit? Tinkerbell? Is that a movie? I think it might be actually, considering all the spin offs that Disney has done. Five percent Illumise, literally the worst Pokemon encounterable on this route. It's even the one Pokemon that Rayano didn't implement correctly because he meant to make it electric bug, and it's pure bug. Like it's just so bad. Let's go for Tinkerbell. Three DS to do my Nuzlocke. All right, good luck, man. So fucking sad, dude. This route has like some good memes. Like, Meowth is okay? Like, even Stunky and Glammeow are better. Noctowl is good because we can trade it for a Torkoal. Ditto is pretty shit. And then Yanma is like pretty good. I. Let's do a quick meme heal, man. Gotta do that meme heal, dude. 
That's how you meme heal, boys. <sighs> the Yanma is still 1%. Yanma is 5%. Pick up the Quick Claw here. Sometimes I just can't believe that I get this unlucky every single time. <coughs> Alright. What's up, Super Saiyan Psycho? Alright, let's see if we can actually get like a... Fucking hell. 1 in 8,000 for 3 Illumistays and 73% to get Nita Renner at least once. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Maybe we can make up our luck here and get some of the insane encounters you can get here. I'll list off the insane encounters here, okay? Um, Kakuna is actually decent because Beedrill is good. Um, Taylor is decent. Ninkata is really good because Ninja solos um, Morty. Uh, Burmy is terrible. Uh, Combi is terrible. I mean, Combi is okay, but Combi is terrible if it's male, and we've gotten two male Combis so far, which, by the way, is also 5% each. And then Scyther is really good, Pinsir is okay, Heracross is really good, and Cricketune is terrible. Let's go! We get the terrible 5% encounter. We get the terrible 5% encounter. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Okay, 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 it has... 96 base attack in this game, 59 base defense, 74 base speed, 59 base special defense, buffed stats in this run, and potential for the technician ability. Could be a thing. Could be a thing. Guess now I have to turn your. I'm waiting for my last encounter. What are we calling this thing, guys? Gimme movie names. I don't believe that to be crit range. Better than male combi, which we've gotten twice now. I was not expecting that. <laughs> There's that crit. Also has a dank mustache. That's true. That that's a pretty dank mustache. And before Cricketune is the number one. Well, judging from that leech life damage, I will say that this probably has technician. <laughs> Guys, nicknames? Anyone? I mean, we can just go for... We can just go for, um... Bug's Life, if you guys want to. But maybe we have a better idea. Alright. Machete. The Soloist. Violin. Did I do the Golden Rod Lottery? Not yet, I should've. Spy Kids 3? What? Beethoven... The Room? <laughs> I think we're saving the room for something truly terrible. <laughs> I like Machete. That's how you spell that, right? Yeah. Alright, one more encounter. We usually use this encounter for... What's up, Tanker? What a nice introduction. El Chapo. Um, we usually use this encounter for Pseudo Widow, but I realized that just the chance of getting the Drought Ninetales, the potential Drought Ninetales on this route is so insane that we might as well skip the... 
We might as well skip the meme. I'll use one potion here. Might as well skip the pseudo because pseudo wood has not been very impressive. To be honest, I'd rather have a chance. I'm sick. Uh, yeah, I noticed. Lord of the Flies would have been pretty good. Or just The Fly, right? With Jeff Goldblum. Anyone know that movie? I'm gonna assume when I kill with Shadow Sneak here. Fuck the tree, go for Vulpix. Yeah, I, I agree. Just the chance of getting four Warm Vulpix um, is already worth it. Because I'm pretty sure that's one of the most insane encounters in the game, especially because our Charmander has, or our Charmander has solar power this time around. Which, holy shit. Meme lock can only use Pokemon that are memes. Wait, what Pokemon are memes? Except for Mudkip. I can just not catch a break, man. I can just not catch a break. That's 20% for Growlithe, which is really good. That's 20% for Vulpix. I don't know the percentage of that for um, for Warren, aka Drought, but even without, Vulpix is still okay. 5% for Female Combi, which is still okay. 10% for Puzzle, 10% for Minion, pretty bad. 10% for Nido Reno, 10% for Nido Rena, 5% for Staravia, 5% for Stantler. All of these are at least okay. Fujibot, oh god. <coughs> the absolute full fledged meme, dude. I will say though, Tailwind support. <laughs> Tailwind support, boys. Call it B movie? Yeah, of course I will. Not ready for this moon, I was like, nice man, good luck. Just kill it. I'm gonna catch it, man. <laughs> this is fucking unbelievable. How have I gotten so unlucky with my last encounters here? Like, all of my encounters around around Goldenrod, the last, like, four attempts have been just absolutely terrible. I don't understand how that is even possible. I just... I just don't understand. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. Sure, let's fight that kid. Because you're a cuck. Mm. Man, that's just cruel, dude. That's just cruel. <sighs> Fucking Illumise into Cricket. Illumise, worst 5% on the route. Cricketune, worst 5% on the route, except for male combi, which we then get in the next route, which is the worst 5%. How is that even fucking possible?
Like, how is that even fucking real, dude? I will say, like, if the Quirk Attuna is a technician, it's, like, usable. Did I get Tur Turtwig yet? No. Actually... Um... Yeah, do you, do you guys think a Cradley is maybe better than Turtwig? Or that Cradley is maybe better than Torterra? Which one do you guys think is better? You're in kind of luck and we still convince you Miss Pseudo Widow. <laughs> Guys, on average, Pseudo Widow isn't better than the average encounter on that route. Nope. I'm dead to signal beam crit. No way. So that's barely pre Jasmine, except not really, because I can't really use it for the rockets. Yeah, it just evolves too late, and it's, the moves just aren't good, man. Yeah. I don't think any of the fossils that aren't Aerodact are ever worth using, man. <laughs> too bad. Yeah, um. No. Growlithe, or not Growlithe, Grodal Line is the better is the better bulky grass type here. If not, if, if not only for the reason that it learns leech seed, which again is pretty much the only thing that makes it bulky grass type good. Until that level range, I think it is, man. Turtwig should be the red turtle. Is shiny Turtwig red? Wait, did you see that red turtle movie? I thought about seeing that, is it any good? Why could I have not gotten this knockdown, man? Also, I'm gonna switch here. Just in case this thing wants to kill me. Oh, it would have uproared. That would have been fine. What? That wasn't even a crit, dude. Okay, I can go back into Spirit Tomb now, though. Ah, but I shouldn't. Ah, ba 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 ba. I'm gonna go into Spirit Tomb and just go for the run, man. The Michael Bay CGI version. Oh yeah, what are we calling what are we calling Turtwig? Red Turtle? Or or TMNT? Uh oh, oh shit. I just killed Spirit Tomb. Never mind. Never mind. I'm okay. I'm okay. Kind of a sticky situation. But I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay, guys. <sighs> oh man, the spirit tomb would have died there. It would have, like, for sure reset. Red turtle. Avatar? Wait, why? Here we fucking go. I want to see spirit tomb die there. I think you weren't the only one. <laughs> Are there any other... Instances in Pokemon games where you can access a PC when you're on your bike, except for this very moment. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Also, why is this egg in this box? <sighs> okay. Check out Vizen Shiv new. As soon as I get Turtwig, I will. Whoops. That fucking movement, dude. Let me just get Turtwig real quick. What's up, Zebra Commander? How you doing, man? Welcome to the Storm Silver Punish Lock. <laughs> you almost got him, Cytrex. Gotta deposit one Pokemon to get this Turtwig. Uh, I'll deposit you for now. Do 
the TM08. Um, yeah, bulk up and calm mind here are both really good. Um, still thinking of doing maybe a call, but I kind of want to save my call mind set because I have like a completely different spirit tomb set in mind um, For the upcoming rockets. I kind of want to go for a choice band spirit tomb with sucker punch and shadow sneak I can never get this quiz correctly on even like the third try so bear with me here Cricket tune command that says Dilla -la 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 whoop <laughs> If this cricket tune does well Sure Yes. Wait, what? No, fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's no. No. Uh, yes? Fuck. Okay, it's three no's. Guys, this is so hard. No. 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 Yes. Ever do a Pokemon Sun Moon and I was like, I'm just going to spam you with Nebby memes. <laughs> well, I did a Sun and Moon Rattata solo lock. Um, you are just a little bit late for that. <laughs> Let's get Turtwig, boys. Oops, I forgot the nickname. We'll do it on the name raider. It's all good. Let's check. Let's check my encounters here. Okay, so that's an electric. All of you are fucking terrible, man. We'll change that the name raider to Red Turtle. If you're lucky though, you might catch that Rattata run on YouTube pretty soon. Anyway, um... Impish nature on the fucking Electrike. Okay, great start. Off to a great start. Um, ooh, its IVs though are pretty shit. Actually, they're pretty good. Uh, 25 HP, 18 attack. 30 defense, 27 special attack, 27 special defense, and 5 speed. That's really good, except for speed. Um, that's some really good I IVs. And let me say nobody fucking even cares about you. What a terrible fucking nature. What a terrible fucking ability. What a terrible fucking IVs. Minus special attack nature on Cricket Tune is pretty good. We do get the swarm ability instead of technician, so this thing's fucking absolutely unusable. 29 HP, 24 attack, 31 defense, 3 special attack, 5 special defense, 27 speed. So very good IVs on this Cricket Tune, but nobody fucking cares. Nobody, I'm not even gonna fucking check you. Uh, spoiler alert, this combi's IVs are terrible. And then Turtwig! <gasps> with the hidden ability Shell Armor! And the impish perfect nature! And the following IVs. 14 HP. 17 attack. 28 defense. 28 special attack. 15 special defense and 20 speed. That's pretty okay. 28 defense. I'm pretty happy with that I'm pretty happy with this Turtwig. Let's give it a good nickname. It has curse already That's pretty good Well, you see the 32 I just realized that that's okay. That's pre Chuck uh, pre mordium That's pretty good. So let's go for the red turtle nickname here. I love that shell armor ability, man. 32 isn't pre Morty. Oh, right, 32 is post Morty. Never mind. Well, this thing's fucking unusable for now. Yeah, Morty level cap is 29, you're right. Ooh, what if though, what if though? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, 29 leech seed. That's perfect. So we keep this a turtwig until Morty. <sighs> until then, it's probably going to stay in the box. Pretty happy with this. Not going to lie. Oh man, that impish nature and the 28 defense I that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Female even yeah. I feel like starters have like increased chance of hidden ability in this game. I I it's, it feels pretty much like 50-50. Anyway, let's build a Whitney team. Uh, Medichem is on there. Spiritomb is on there. Charmeleon is on there. Gyarados is on there. Luxio is on there. Um. Keep Charmeleon in there so it doesn't die. That's actually quite the good idea. Um. I mean, Spiritomb can basically solo Whitney, so there's that. There's definitely that. Um, use the Combi? No. I know about Turtwig, man. I don't think Turtwig is going to be any good for this gym. I mean, Curse is okay, but oh, I don't see it. I, I'd rather just use Geodude, I think. For the normal type resistance. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's a pretty good team. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm gonna be turning off battle animations just finding trainers. I don't think any of the trainers are particularly hard. Um, I do need to go to the bathroom real quick though, so I'll be back in five minutes. I, I might also make t take the experience here off here and just give this thing the shell bell. Um, charcoal for Charmeleon, cause why not? The sloth is down, man. We fucking got another male combi real time. Do you have the sloth cam because of the lack of furniture? That's I guess another reason, sure. Also, the sloth cam needs to be slightly adjusted. There we go. Also, hi Galactic Elliot. Welcome, man. Guys, if you're not following Galactic Elliot, go follow him right now. Um, King's Rock for the Flinch Master here. Do I have any other real, real, real items? Held items. I got another fucking male combi, guys. <laughs> how fucking sad is that, dude? Yeah, real time. That's that's how I have it. Uh, I'm feeling better than yesterday, feeling a lot better. As I say that, I go straight into the next coughing fit. Uh, we're fighting Whitney now, guys. Let's go. Um, not the... I hate... No, the easiest gym fight in the game is Chuck. But it's probably the second easiest. I don't know, Faulkner is also pretty easy. Um, honestly, most of the difficulty of this game just comes down to fucking rockets. Um, although the light gym leaders are kind of kind of difficult. By the way, how are you? How are you, Elliot? How are you feeling today? I think we're we're good. I think we can go. Do we have berries that we can? Someone gonna drink milk tonight? Wait, what? What is that even a reference to? Berry. Sure, why not? <sighs> the guy I don't watch? Why? Why are you not watching him though? For some reason. Ooh, you better come up with a good one. Milk tank. Ah, now I get the milk thing. Alright, boys. 
I will say, if I win this fight with zero dose, that sloth might be flipping. That sloth might be flipping. Let's see. Alright, this tea bag is way overdue. Getting the fuck out of my tea. Right onto that carbonara plate, man. <sighs> Alright. Like a tongue. Sleep. Just go to sleep, man. Go to sleep. Zero more deaths till Morty. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Guys, the problem with my desk at the moment, if I just touch it in the slightest, this shit happens. Look at this. Look at this shit, dude. It's okay. Um, yeah, just spam the faint attacks until we're missing HP, and then we spam Dream Eater. That's basically what we do. Thanks for telling me I'm muted, I'm sorry. <sighs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, Turtwig is a pretty good pretty good choice. I'm not sad about that super potion, but also not sad about that disable. Uh, I can always stream meter. Disabling like missing a hypnosis into a disable is probably the worst thing that can happen, but even that is not too bad. Uh, I'm no longer disabled, so I might as well faint attack here since I'm at full HP. Faint attack is gonna deal more damage. And in case he does wake up. Although I'm faster, so it doesn't matter, right? Alright. We can get in the last faint attack here. Lack of good grass types in Sinnoh, that's very true. There's also a lack of good fire types, except for Infernape. Yeah, Ominous win. Boy. Hi, dude. Just a little token of my appreciation. You're an entertaining dude and you've got a great community going. This is for your cast iron skillet fund. Thank you so much, Chandler Bling. Holy shit, I really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. I'm glad I'll, that I can entertain you, you know. Thanks, man. I hope I can bring you a lot of entertainment in the future. You missed Galaxy's donation? Oh shit, wait, what happened? I'll, I'll look it up on- hold on. Fuck. Mr. Hypnosis, it's okay. Is that crit range? It's not crit range. I really appreciate the support, guys. Thank you, I really need to hit that, otherwise I would've been in trouble. Yo, why does Streamlabs always log me out? Does that happen to you as well? Aw, oh, 8.50 for another kebab! From Galaxy Mate, I really appreciate that so much. Thank you. And you switched to the PayPal donations. Because fuck my credit card shit. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh man, I really appreciate it. Oh, it, it read, shut the fuck up and buy another kebab. Aww. Thank you. Proterra, Tangrowth, Carnivine, Roserade are all great. Carnivine is shit though, except for in this game. There we go. Eight fifty. Wait. Oh yeah, Jevener, you missed my kebab story. The I had the best kebab of my life and the best sub ten euro meal of my life is in my city. It's the best kebab of my town. It costs eight fifty for a large one, but it, the price is absolutely worth it. I was skeptical, but I'd, I'd luckily pay ten bucks for that kebab. It's fucking incredible. A normal kebab costs three fifty here. Uh, 350 to 4 euros, but 850, that, that 850 kebab in downtown, they put like rocket in, and the meat is like fresh. You know how the normal like shitty kebab shops have like the, um, the, the spinning meat kebabs, uh, are like, 
They're like, they get them like frozen in the morning and they're just by some random fucking dude. Well, those, that's actually some freshly marinated meat, man. And the bread is fresh and everything. It's fucking incredible. What's up, John Paul 70? And oh my god, my commands are a mess. Please don't look those up. I'm just gonna go for the faint attack here because I don't think she she will heal and I won't heal that much anyway with 3 meter if I do that here and I have a chance of missing hypnosis and we kill if he wishes here. I mean marinade? What, wait, what did I say? What country do I live in? I live in Germany, my friend. Belinda. You know what? Go buy two more Nathan Weeb. Belinda. Nathan Weeb. Thank you so much. Fuck. I don't deserve this, man, but I'll, I'll go buy two more. Thank you so much. <sighs> Fuck. Are you serious? <laughs> Thanks. I really appreciate it. Alright, reflect. That's fine. I'll just spam Dream Eater instead. Thank you so much, Galaxy Man. I don't even know what to say, man. Appreciate it. Go buy your whole family kebabs. I should do that. Could show them how, how worth this whole stream business really is. Stop being a feeder. <laughs> nice. <laughs> to think I started the train. Wow, getting all the credit there, Jevaderp. I don't know about that, man. said Belinda? Wait, what's wrong with that? You can buy the business if this stays up. Check Discord. Oh shit, I will. Actually, guys, I'm currently saving up for something stream-related. All those donations are going towards a specific fund. Mm. A specific fund of... Oh shit, the water... Don't confuse me, please. That's, like, just bullshit. Um... Because I want to buy a domain name, guys. I want to buy PC.TV. It's free. Not free, but it's like, you can get it. We can just redirect that to our Twitch page, and then every time someone asks me, like, in real life, like, hey, dude, so you stream, so how do I find your stream? And I have, well, you go to Twitch TV, and then you search for Pokemon challenges. I can just say, dude, just go to PC.TV. Bam. Easy. And we can save, like, our trophy case and shit on that. So, yeah. Current donations are all going towards that. Also... You better buy the kebabs. Well, if you specifically- Fuck, I just spilled my tea. Oh my god, it didn't go to my keyboard. Whew. Okay, we're good. We're good, boys. We didn't spill that much. If you specifically request it to go to the kebabs, it's gonna go to the kebabs. Have my own dom domain? Damn. Is it jevaderp.com? I never even checked if PC.com was available, but I like PC.TV a lot better. <laughs> did I just cuck myself? I think I did. Why am I so poor? Cool Kong Gaming, if you want to support the stream for no additional cost, what you can do is check out my Green Man Gaming affiliate link. Um, if you're looking for... If you're looking for a game to buy, anyway, like For Honor, for example, I'm pretty sure, is off 15% right now. If you buy any game there, for no additional cost, actually I lied about For Honor, but Conan's Exiles, you can get there. Or Sniper Elite for 15% off. For Honor is actually there for 15% off as well. Um, yeah, go look for some good deals there, and if you find something that you like, that you were going to spend money on anyway, just buy it through my affiliate link, and I'll get a commission for that. And you won't have to buy anything in addition. So... But you know what? If you have no money to support the stream, that's fine, dude. The best way for you to support the stream is just be in here. Lurk or chat. Watch my stream, man. Just hang out here. That's like... I even appreciate that. I, like, appreciate any amount of support. 
right? You don't have to donate to be a supporter of mine. It's not what it's about. It's not about the money right now. It's about growing the community. PC.com predicts an Intel website? Ooh, okay. So far, careful, Bidoof, lonely, starly, Turtwig is naughty, but that's not... That's okay, yeah. I'm sorry, Spiritomb gameplay is so fucking boring, but Miltang has Scrappy, so... I always forget about that. Nice fucking crit, dude. Luckily, we hit the Hypnosis. Mm. I could go for the Dream Eater here, but I fear the f turn one wake up. Also, that's a Lumberry, right? Yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna go into Geodude here, dude, I think. I don't remember what moveset this thing has, but I don't think it can hurt a Geodude. I don't remember it being able to do that. We could just go into something Intimidate. Nah, I think this is fine. Brain stopped my pocket money like three months ago. Oh shit, what do you do, man? What is the context of exclamation point shoe? Um, for one of the punishments, I had to wear a shoe on my head for an entire stream. I'm actually gonna go through those commands after the stream and, um, delete them all. Or del delete the unnecessary ones. I just almost spilled my tea again. Alright, let's just start rock smashing here. Oh shit, attract. Okay. I'll make you a site for nudes. Seems like a good idea. Okay, we can take like four body slams here if he doesn't crit. Can we please just hit it and maybe lower defense as well? That'd be great. Use Discord Fujiwa. That one goes on. Oh, true. Yeah. It's 11.56 here. Well, it's 12.57 here, so... Did I get the defense lower? I think I did, right? Body slam, milk drink, attract, roll out. Oh yeah, I remember. That is not crit range yet, um, so I will stay in one more turn. I'm in love and paralyzed, though. Yeah, that was a defense drop. I'm not gonna get another, but that's fine. I'll stay in for one more turn. Crit doesn't kill me here. Never mind. Okay. That was like an insanely high roll. It actually rolled 10 damage almost every time. One time it rolled 11 damage there. And apparently it crit that uh, apparently 10 or 11 times 2 is 23 nowadays, but okay. That's fine. <sighs> what a fucking joke, dude. Um, I think Metacham can outspeed and KO here. This is a plus speed, and I think 30 IV speed Metacham. Wow, still slower. Oh, I don't think we can take that. We can actually, okay. This should be able to KO with the defense drop and the huge power. Okay, nice. 11.5 times 2. So it rolled low the first, like, three attacks? I don't believe that. Actually, I do. I can believe that with my luck. What the fuck? Ooh. Um, I know what's coming here, but... I don't think this has any electric-type moves. I'm gonna go into Gyarados. If Meta-type died before it evolved. Who knows, man? I can take a Dizzy Punch, that's fine. I'll just rock smash here. Dragon Rage might deal like the same amount of damage, or maybe even more. Yeah, no experience. I mean, it happened, so it obviously has to make sense within the game. It just means that I got really unlucky. Which is okay, don't confuse me. And that tea went cold insanely fast, dude. Probably because I spilled it. It was angry. It said, nope, no hot tea for you. Ah, uh, dude, I don't want to fucking deal with the Stantler. That's okay, I think I can just stay in. I'll switch out. Fuck Intimidate. 
Um, oh, sure, let's go Luxio. Didn't this Gyarados have like 30 attack IV? Yeah, it's, this Gyarados is fucking crazy, man. Its speed is literally zero in IVs, but the rest is absolutely crazy. Nice hypnosis, dude. I don't really give a fuck. Fast asleep, that's okay. We'll just keep going, man. That's actually respectable stomp damage, and I'm pretty sure I'm in crit range here, so... I think I should switch out. Uh... I'm definitely in crit range, because it's intimidated. I might be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, I don't think this thing can actually hurt Spiritomb, if I remember correctly. Let's just go Spiritomb and put it to sleep. And then heal up with Dream Eater. Intimidate Shuffle? That's always an option. Intimidate Shuffle plus Shell Armor from... Um... Was that... Is that a speed tie? That's actually a speed tie, I think. Unless I saw that wrong. Um... Yeah, I think this has, like, Stomp, Hypnosis, and Headbutt, and some other bullshit move. Yeah. If we have, like, the Intimidate Shuffle into, like, the Shell Armor Grodel, that's actually really dank, because it can't get critted, and then we have just, like, Forever Intimidating. Attract is its last move. Yeah, so it literally can't do anything. <laughs> Alright. Dream Eater for the heal up. I mean, I don't even need to heal, but I might as well. Some good healing, man. I can KO with an Extreme Eater, too. Dude, ever since I've been using Leftovers last attempt, Shell Arm- uh, Shell Bell just seems like sh such a shitty item, man. So it restores like one-eighth of the damage that you fucking deal. That's so bad. Does she have another Pokemon or am I done? I'm done, okay. That's Whitney, boy! Yeah, not the most exciting battle because of Spiritomb, but... It's okay. Next level cap is level 29, guys. Alright. Sadly, we did lose Geodude here, but that's okay. I don't really care about it that much. Like... I don't think it's any good, what I'm trying to say. Who am I going to add to the team now uh, for Morty? Let's see. I think I'll wait on my next encounter as I have two more encounters. Three more, actually. One of them being a Poliwag. We already have 127. What, what's the in-game time, I guess? We could check. 